We got time, but no money. But there ain't nobody stopping. Hi everyone, I'm Kyla and welcome to my bar class. Today you don't need any props, but as always, if you want to amp it up, you can grab some light weights for the arm section of class. I suggest ones, twos, threes, maybe fives if you're feeling really intense. Anyway, let's start with a warm up wide stance. All ten toes face forward, softness in your knees, shoulders down, head roll to start. Take it nice and slow. Take your time and listen to your body. Good. Go ahead and reverse. Beautiful, y'all. Lovely. Back to center. Roll your shoulders back and down. Back and down. Breathe. Notice how I'm softening through my knees. Reverse. Forward. Good. Three. Two. And last one. Turn your toes out. You'll find a plie down. And lift. Good, plie down, knees track over toes, and lift maybe a little faster here. Down, lift, down, reach. Energy through your fingertips, make it strong and powerful as we get warm. Good, for three, two, hold your plie, hands behind your head, reach your right hand down, and then bring it back to center. Other side, reach, and center. Again, reach. We're getting our core warm here. Again, option to speed it up. Here we go. Reach up, reach up. Really getting into those obliques. Legs stay sturdy and strong. You have four, three, good, two. Last one. Go ahead and find a parallel stance. Make sure you have space behind you. You'll step your left leg back. Bring your hands behind your head. Twist to the right, hello, back to center, and stand. Other side, back, twist, center, stand. So you're twisting over your front leg, again, to get our core warm. All of our movement, really, comes from our core. So that has to be stable for us to build strength out. I think of us like the sun. Right, so you have the core, and then you have all that energy reaching out through your limbs, the crown of your head, all of it. Let's find a few more. Good, last one, right, left. Good. Last one. Beautiful, drop your head roll all the way down. Plant your hands, step your feet back, plank pose. Wrist under shoulder, straight line from the crown of your head to the backs of your heels. You'll tap your right toe out and tap left. Good, alternating. Beautiful. Once this feels stable, you have the option to speed it up. Little tap out, in, out, in. And if you'd like to take it a little further, you can find a full plank jack. Out, in. Whew. Just eight and six. Good, four, three, two, and hold your plank. Grounding down one palm, reaching the other one up, side plank, and then switch sides. Good. Woo. Keep breathing. If this is a lot, you can always come down to your knees and find a modified plank. Good, y'all. Find a place that feels sturdy, but challenging, but not impossible, right? And lift one more time. Good, last time. Nice, back to center. Lower down to your forearms, shift forward and back. Forward, back, keep breathing. You can always lower down to your knees to modify. You've got this. Keep going, I want you to make sure your hips are in line with your shoulders. Eep, eep. That's what it looks like, but your body. <laughs> For four, three, two, and one. Knees down, child's pose, rest. <sighs> Good. Shift your weight forward, hands underneath your shoulders, straight line from the crown of your head to the backs of your knees, heels towards your glutes. 
You'll lower down, elbows in by your side, and then exhale up. Walk your hands out a little wider. Lower down, elbows diagonally back, and then exhale up. Good, so alternating, narrow push-up, wide push-up. Looking slightly forward, making sure we don't lead with our chin or our nose, and breathe. You got it, y'all. Keep going. Exhale as you press away. You've got this. Let's find one more narrow. One more wide. Down. Press. Ooh. Good, y'all. Press your hips back. Keep them lifted and press your chest towards the floor. <sighs> Good, find all fours. Tuck your toes, walk your hands and feet together. Bend your knees, roll it up. Shake it off. This is where if you'd like to grab weights, you can. Wide stance, heels in, toes, knees out, wider than your hips, and bring your arms to a goal post. You'll reach and pull. Reach, pull. Yes, reach and pull. Option to add a plie. You'll reach, bend your knees. Lift and pull. Good job, y'all. Four more. Four. Good. Three. Two, and one, hold your plie. You'll shift to the right, extend your left leg, close your arms, and then shift to the left, open your arms. Close and open, close and open. Make sure your knees are continuing to track over your toes and pressing back so they're not knocking forward. Feel like a little crab, but like an artsy crab. <laughs> Good. We're adding on to this. Every third shift, we will add a pulse up. Let's do it. So you shift, two, three, pulse your arms. One, two, three, pulse. One, two, three, pulse. If you want, you can add that little head nod with me. <laughs> For some reason, that subtle movement makes it more fun. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Let me know if you like a head nod, maybe you don't. It's up to you. One, two, three, pulse. Couple more times. Two, three, pulse last time. Hold to the left. You'll extend and bend. Extend, bend. I'm bringing my thumbs to my shoulders. I think I'm trying to poke my deltoids. Hey, yo, keeping the bend in this knee for four, three, good, two, and last one. Shift, close your arms, extend, bend, and bend. Getting kind of aggressive. I'm gonna have little red spots there. Maybe don't go so intense, <laughs> right? Especially if you have any nail length. Be nice to yourself. Good. For four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and find a parallel stance. Feet right underneath your hips. Bend your knees, hinge your torso, draw your elbows behind your spine, shoulders down. Extend and bend. Notice how my shoulders are back and down, making sure we're not letting them collapse forward at all. Boop. Almost like you're trying to stick your boobs out without popping your ribs out. Friends without boobs. Sorry. Um, <laughs> that is okay. Maybe thinking about displaying a necklace. Just anything. Just open up your chest. We want it to be proud. For four, three, two. Keep your arms extended. Little pulses up. Lift. Squeeze your triceps. Squeeze. If you'd like to test your balance, lift your heels. I almost said lift your back heels. What other heels do you have? You just have the heels. Lift, lift for eight, six, four, three, little circle in your arms. Here we go, circle, in and in. You've got it, keep breathing. Your heels can be lowered or lifted. Choice is yours for eight, six, four, three, two, 
hold and release good shake it off very quick stretch reach your right arm across shoulder down inhale exhale head roll good right knee into left shoulder grab your elbow gently pull maybe you take a little peek good back to center other side shoulder down inhale exhale head roll Ooh. good hand to opposite shoulder grab your elbow gently pull and release last one hands behind your back open up your chest you can stay here or dive forward good release bend your knees roll yourself up to standing all right finding a parallel stance all ten toes face forward shoulders down you'll squat and lift squat and lift breathe knees track over toes booty goes back little hinge forward for four good three two adding on to this you'll tap the floor with alternating arms tap and lift tap lift so we try to get a little bit closer to the floor in our squat if you don't tap the floor that's fine with me as long as you keep your core engaged and you're trying to get that booty really low for four good three two adding on as you lift you'll step in so you'll squat step in squat and in i feel like I'm back on the palms team. Good. <laughs> Keep breathing. You've got it. For four. Three. Good. Two. And last one. Ooh, your lower body isn't warm after that. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Take a wide stance. We'll find alternating skater lunges so you'll step to the left step your right leg back tap towards the floor out reach step reach so a little less bar like today but I still want you to maintain that alignment idea that we normally do in bar so knees track over toes chest is lifted pulling your navel in away from your thigh so I want that same energy for four three good two hold to the right all right you'll lift bring your hands behind your head lift your knee here's where that bar action comes and then back down good lift down lift down so a little core work if you'd like more of a challenge what you can do is keep your left leg lifted the whole time good this is getting really into my base leg so my right leg is feeling this down and lift whether or not I set my foot down my base leg is feeling the work a few more You've got it. Two more. Ah! It's okay if you lose your balance. We're human. Last one. And lift. Good. Back to alternating. This time while alternating, if you'd like to lift your back leg, feel free to. Right? I like to slow it down if I decide to go for a balancing option so I can find that balance. And sometimes it takes a little, little while, like it is right now, right? You might be getting that balance quicker than me or slower than me, and that's okay. For three, two, last one, hold. Left leg is forward, you'll lift, right knee lifts, and down, and lift, and down, yes, y'all. And down, you've got this. Keep breathing. If you want that extra push, keep your right leg off the floor. I suggest looking at something that's not moving. So you can look at me to understand what's going on. 
but then try to look past me. Maybe not at the screen, <laughs> especially if you're doing the balancing option. Ooh, my left leg. She's feeling it. Couple more. Last one. And lift. Oh, shake it off. That was absolutely stunning. Right before we go down to the floor, let's find a quick little releve series. Hands can be on your hips to start. You'll lift your heels lower. Lift, lower, relax your shoulders. Lift, lower, four more, four. Good, three, two. Keep your heels lifted. I like to reach my arms out to a T. Shift to one foot, lift the other. Again, don't look at the screen. Look at something that's not moving and try to find your balance. It might not be perfect, but again, we're so human. It is okay. So human, not just human. Good, other side. Ooh, one side might feel more or less balanced than the other. Um, and that's because we're not perfectly symmetrical. And that's cool. Four, three, two, both feet down, heels stay lifted, hold. And heels down, bend your knees. Shake it off. Pop down to the floor. We have a bridge series, but do not fret. Both feet will remain on the floor the entire time. It's just a little lengthy, and I want you to keep going. All right, y'all. So, plant your feet. Maybe you have a low bun like me to create that perfect little pillow. Hands down by your sides, relax your shoulders. You'll lift your hips straight up and down. Lift, lower. Squeeze your glutes, lower. Squeeze. Core is strong, just like it has been the whole time. Good, squeeze. Squeeze. Beautiful, y'all. For four, three, two. Keep your hips lifted. Relax your shoulders, little pulses up. If you'd like, you can reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. It makes you have to balance just a tiny, tiny bit more. So when you have your hands down, you know, they're there to support you. Up, you have a little less support. Right, nothing crazy, especially because we're keeping both feet on the ground, but I love just this energy of reaching my fingertips up for eight, six, four, three. Hips stay lifted, tap your knees in. Little tap and tap. Keep breathing. You've got it for eight, six, four. You'll alternate, you'll pulse up, tap in. Up and in. Squeeze your glutes, tap. Squeeze and in. So you're really getting into your gluteus maximus as well as your inner thighs. Lift and in. Four more, four. Good, three, two. Keep your hips lifted, lift both heels up and down. Maybe you have to draw them a little closer to your glutes. Lift. Lower, just like I did. Beautiful, lift, lower. Keep breathing, you've got it. Four more, four. Three, two. Heels stay lifted, pulse your hips up. Here we go, lift and lift. Woo. I don't know about y'all, but my glutes are burning. My hamstrings are feeling it, especially where my booty and my hamstrings come together. AKA the fast. Lift, lift for eight, six, four, three. Hips stay lifted. Tap your knees in. Little tap in and tap. Woo. Keep going. You've got it. In and in. What is up? Inner thighs for eight, six, four, three, two. Alternate. You'll pulse up. Tap in. Up and in, you've got this. I hope you're breathing. I hope you're maintaining stability through your core. And I hope you're burning. Breathing, stability, 
burning. That's what I want. <laughs> For four. Oh my gosh, three. <laughs> Two. Last one, heels down. Oh my gosh, melt your spine all the way down. <sighs> Release, I almost like didn't want to put my arms down. I was like, this is how I'll live now. Just like this. <laughs> Reaching for something to help my glutes out. <laughs> Pull your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just like can't not laugh. When my glutes are burning that badly, extend, let your thighs jiggle, cause it's good for you. Let it jiggle. That feels good. Okay, hands behind your thighs. Rock yourself up to seated. Let's finish with some core and a stretch. And that's it for the day. Bring your hands behind your thighs to start. Flex your feet right away so you can feel your heels grounding down into the floor. And you'll tuck your tailbone, roll all the way back. And then peel all the way up. I'm continuing to bring my hands behind my thighs to start. And I want you to do the same thing. Really pressing down through your heels. <sighs> Breathe, y'all. Yeah. It's hard. And then once you feel ready, if you're like, Kyla, this is way too easy, you can reach your arms out in front of you. And if you're feeling the same way, if you need a little bit more of a challenge, cross your arms in front of you. And as always, listen to your body. Find the choice that is challenging, but doable for you, right? Not impossible. <sighs> yeah. Mm. My abs are tired today. Last one all the way up. Yeah. And scoop halfway. Good, reach your arms out in front of you, and you'll pull your right elbow back, and lift. Left elbow back, and lift. Good, pull, and lift. Again, pull, and lift. Maybe a little faster here, pull, and lift. You've got it, pull, lift, yes. Pull, lift, keep breathing, pull. Lovely four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and pop down onto your right side. You'll bend your right knee underneath you. Left limbs are extended up on top. It's your nose if needed. Bend your top leg, reach your fingertips towards your toes and extend. This is option one. You can vibe here the whole time. Option two. You'll shift onto the meaty part of your glue and press up onto your hands. So start going with whatever option feels good to you. And if you'd like to make it even more challenging, extend and lift. Eee! Mermaid abs, what is up? For four, three, two, and one. Let's swing around to the other side. Left forearm down, right limbs reaching. Start with option one. Even if you already know you want to hit option three, start with option one. Just like we did on the other side. Then when you're ready, if you'd like, get onto the meaty part of your booty, move on to option two. Yes. And then option three, if you'd like. Good, lift. And lift four more. Four, three, Two, and one. Release. Okay, roll all the way onto your back. Roll all the way down. Bring your hands behind your head, neutral spine, just a quick little crunches set. Lift your head and shoulders, and lower. Lift, lower. Lower, good y'all. Keep your chin away from your chest. Two more. Last one, hold. Little pulses up for eight, six, four, three, two, one. Rest, pull your knees into your chest. It's only a few days before Valentine's Day, so naturally I have to do X's and O's. Lift your head and shoulders. Starting right away, you'll find option one, inhale for an X. 
and then exhale for an O. So start with this. If you'd like option two, exhale, lift up onto your booty. Inhale, X, exhale, O. Inhale, exhale. Yes, y'all, find that power. Whether or not you're lifting all the way up, I want that serious energy on the exhale to pull everything in. A few more. Three. Good, two. Last one. And then roll back. Plant your feet. Hands down by your sides. Lift your head and your shoulders. And we'll find our penguins reaching for one heel than the other. If you'd like more of a challenge, lift your legs to tabletop. Woo. For eight, six, four, three, two, one. Rest, rock side to side. Circle your legs in your hip sockets. Good, hands behind your thighs. Rock yourself up to seated. Turn yourself around to all fours and you'll find a quick cat-cow. Inhaling for cow, exhale for cow. Good, listening to your own breath. Good, neutral spine, tuck your toes, lift your hips, and then walk it out, lengthening the backs of your legs, shoulders away from your ears. Good, y'all. Walk your hands and feet together. Heel toe your feet wider than your hips. You can find a little sway if you'd like, grabbing onto opposite elbows. <sighs> Good, release. Heel toe your feet underneath your pelvis. You'll bend both knees and stretch. Again, plie and stretch. Last time, keep your knees bent, drop your tailbone, and roll yourself up to standing, restacking your spine. Your head is the last to lift. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach. Exhale down. Inhale, shoulders to ears. Exhale, drop. Two more. Inhale, lift. Drop. Last time. Inhale, lift. Drop. Thank you so, so much for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, you can find me on Instagram at DancerKyla. And make sure you like and subscribe for more weekly content. And if you like my videos and are able to, please consider donating via Venmo or Cash App. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.